Kia ora, Off Grid Native here, showing you tips and tricks for living off grid. Now, what I'm going to teach you today is uh, chopping kindling. Sounds like an easy skill, everybody has a different way, but um, there's definitely easier ways than others. So the first thing you want to do is select your piece of wood. Now, when selecting a piece of wood, you're looking at the grain. If it's got a very tough grain and a tough, dense type of wood, it's uh, best to stay away from, especially when you're starting out doing kindling. So we're going to look at something like this. This is quite a fine, tight grain, quite straight, and that's going to be easy for us to cut slabs. And another really easy way is um, bits of wood that are cut up like planks and things like that are being cut into a straight grain. So these are going to be very simple for chopping into kindling. So using all those techniques, any weather boards I have, I just get my chainsaw and put them all, stack them all in one go and just chop them into sections. And I know I'm going to get really straight grain wood and um, it's going to split really easily for kindling. So I'll get into the technique. So I'm just going to show you um, breaking it down from there. So what I'm going to do is try and take a little slice off here. So what I'm trying to get is thin boards. And these thin boards are really helpful when it comes to splitting kindling. So a real important piece of equipment here is the chopping block. It will save your back and save you bending over and it just makes life a lot easier. So I'm going to show you the technique here with a weatherboard. So instead of um, what the traditional way I guess is people put their hands there and their fingers can get caught. The way I do it is you lift up the whole piece of board and bring it down like that. Fingers are out of the way. You can do that with your eyes closed. When you're more confident, you can just do it like this. But starting off, a real good way for kids in that is to just lift that piece and um, lift that whole piece of wood like that, and it's quite safe. I've never heard of anybody catching their fingers doing it that way, you know. You get more used to it, you can just swing the axe and um, cut that kindling. You can even just put your axe in there. Once it's embedded, move the hand away. Another way. Putting the axe head in there, moving the hand away, driving it through. In there, boom. Keeps those hands out of the way, especially when you're starting off and you're not confident. So there's a few different ways there to do your kindling. Um, if you like, if you liked that, then um, subscribe, like it, leave a comment, and um, got heaps of videos coming up of uh, all stuff we just learned when we were kids. So. Yeah, happy to share all that and um, hope you enjoy.